just hold pressure on it. Hold pressure on it. Boy, it really slammed Mike in here. Steve Von Brandt with Mike Phillips, Newark Basser down here at Garrison's. Man, he really slammed it too, man. Was that the buzz bait? Yep. He's got me hung up now. Just know. stay there and uh, let's see if he's still on. Just keep pressure on him. He's there. I see him flopping. Yep. Just stay right there. I'm coming, bringing you right to him. Reel down, reel down. Run up here. There you go. Keep pressure on him. I got, I got the heavy braid on. So. Yeah, just keep pressure right on it. Just keep pressure. Okay, there it is. There he oh, is. He's nice. Right. See that? Just haul him right in. Now, don't break your rub. There we go. There you go, buddy. Now, what did I say? We came back into this spot. That it looked just like the place that Josh Rhodes had caught that 912, and we were debating. I said, man, it really looks like it. I said, let's throw a spinner bait and a buzz bait here. We've and been look at that. For a while. I mean, we've probably been throwing a solid hour. No yeah. bites, just kept trying. Yeah. And uh, we were just talking, and I wasn't really paying attention. And all of a sudden, I just, you know, heard the splash, saw him take it. Yeah, that's nice. Got the good man. hook set in him. Decent. Yeah, solid four pounds. Water temperature is uh, 57.5 degrees. It was 43 degrees last night. Decent fish. Oh, boy, it's been tough. We've tried everything, haven't we, Mike? Uh, picked that one up on a spinnerbait just now. We're getting ready to leave. Mike has to leave by 11. We've only had a couple hours today, but uh, man, it's been tough. Uh, throwing RC 1.5s, we've flipped and pitched all different kinds of soft plastics and threw jigs into the pads and punched in the pads in all the areas all over and went in shallow and then out on the edge of the creek channel through buzz baits and just everything. Uh, they've really seemed pretty slow, but uh, now we'll see if we can pick up a couple more. We've got about 10 minutes left, and if not, I'll see you next time, uh, maybe over at Trap Pond. Or the All right, we're going to get out of here. Right before uh, we were getting ready to leave, I threw that uh, Terminator spinner bait right up to the rocks by the dam by the side of the road, and a giant fish nailed it, had him hooked and got off, so I actually blew it. So we had, like, what, two really good ones and yeah. then the one small one. Uh, Four and tough, a half in the but... morning and two pounder. Yeah. That one. Yeah, and then that one that was like three and a half, four pounds. But... Really slow. Four yeah. and a half pounder hit a buzz bait. Uh, the two and a half hit the spinner bait. Yeah. And we tried everything. Uh, it's not bad though, I guess, for you know, this time of year after the cold front and everything for like three and a half, four hours. But yeah. could have been a lot better than that, but still. I mean, if you probably had till 3 o'clock, a real tournament day. Get some more. Yeah, we'd have five, probably weigh well over 10, 11 pounds. So I guess it isn't as bad as you think, huh? We saw the fish were on, just nothing biting. Yeah. All right, so we're going to get out of here, and we'll see you uh, probably down at Trap Pond next. And then uh, Mike and I will be up at the Upper Bay next week after this uh, next storm passes on uh, Friday. So we'll see you then down the water.